In this video, we're going to focus on creating three T-slot channels at the bottom and right edge of the CNC gantry, end cap, and motor mount. Now, it's a simple program I wrote basically to mill a spade shape all the way through this three-quarter inch chunk of 6061 aluminum. I'll post a link to the G-code in the description. My DeWalt 611 router has a one-quarter collet, so I'm using a quarter shank, one quarter diameter, four flute carbide end mill from Speed Tiger. These end mills are sharp and make for a great surface finish as long as you keep the feed rate down and the cutting depth short. I'm still learning what the sweet spot here is, so you know my cutting depth is only 0.25 millimeter, although I can cut comfortably at one millimeter per pass, if I don't mind you know, some chatter. My feed rate here is 100 millimeters per minute, but I could increase this a bit more, I'm sure but I'm noticing that my end mills last a little longer, um, the less aggressive my cuts are. So I've got a lot to learn here, so please feel free and give me some pointers in the comments. Well, this concludes the first T-slot channel. Now we're gonna change angles here and uh, start working on the second one. The purpose of these T-slot channels are to allow T-nuts to travel through the part and be used to secure the gantry arm below it. Now admittedly I made the mistake of ordering a gantry that was too short, about 1600 millimeters, when it was supposed to be 1650. And as a result, I wouldn't have enough clearance for the gantry arms on both sides to clear the rails they are supposed to attach to. So basically, this gantry end cap is designed to extend the length of the gantry by only a dozen millimeters or so. Without it. I would have to order another gantry. So another life lesson learned. Always measure twice and you won't need to spend hours making parts you don't plan for. So we've already seen this process so we're going to skip ahead a little bit. Alright, we're now down to our last T-slot channel. This program is slightly different than the other two in that, as you can see, we're going to be cutting at a 90 degree angle. So I'll post the G-code for this one as well. Uh, this T-slot channel will be used to secure a plate that is basically strapped to the back of the gantry and the gantry arm. It's tucked neatly under the motor mount plate. Well, that about wraps up this part. In the end, it, it turned out pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it, despite not planning even to make it. So if you have any thoughts and like to share, please let me know in the comments section. As always, you know, please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon. Plenty more videos to come. Thanks again.